Hello, this is Dr. Gay, and this is a 52-year-old male with complaints of a shoulder injury about one month ago, and the patient felt a pop in the shoulder and pain, and they have clinically a biceps tendon tear. And this view here, we have a coronal view where we can see the humeral head, which is rounded. We see the cup that sits and rotates in here. This is the glenoid. And along the bottom of this cup, we see the inferior labrum, which is a little dark area here. This is the inferior joint capsule holding the humeral head to the glenoid. Along the superior margin, we should see a couple things up here. We should see the superior labrum right here, but instead of seeing a nice dark triangle, which is that labrum, we see this foggy area of brightness. So we can see that that superior labrum is completely torn. We don't see anything there except for some irregular area of bright signal, which is abnormal. It should be a nice dark area. On this one, we can see an axial view. We can see a dark triangle in the back here. This is the posterior labrum. This is the anterior labrum in front, posterior labrum in back. This is the cup. On this view, we should see the superior labrum, which is completely torn, and the inferior labrum. Now, when the patient tore the superior labrum, they also tore the biceps tendon, which the doctor knew clinically. And the biceps tendon goes from down here, up over the top, and it attaches right over here on that labrum, where it attaches, we call it the biceps labral anchor. This patient has a ruptured biceps tendon from that labral anchor, and instead of seeing a nice biceps tendon, a dark area coming around and making a loop down, we see nothing in here, completely torn. This is empty. We call this the intraarticular portion. And then down in here, this is the bicipital groove area. We see fluid, which is white, instead of that nice dark biceps tendon. And as we come down here, we start to see something right here. This is the end of the biceps tendon. It's torn and retracted, and we can see it's recoiled on itself. This is wavy contour thing here. This is that biceps tendon that is recoiled upon itself and down here below the bicipital groove a little bit. On this axial image, we can see the same thing. This is a little cup here called the bicipital groove. Normally, we should see the biceps tendon sitting right here, a little round ball. But instead, we see a little area of fluid, so an empty bicipital groove. And if we go up to the top, this is where the biceps should come off here and go around. Should go in here. Again, it's absent. As we go down, down, we start to see the biceps tendon right there come back. So this is that very low cut here. We see the very end of the retracted biceps tendon. So this is an isolated tear of the biceps tendon from the labral anchor uh, and uh, an associated tear of that superior labrum. And the rotator cuff here is intact. Often we see a rotator cuff tear and the biceps will tear associated with this, but this is just a pulling injury where it popped the biceps tendon and tore that superior labrum. And that's it. Thank you very much.